Rich Baum with Rich Baum Photography, Sacramento, California. Sorry for the wind noise, I'm on location. <laughs> I'm filming from my uh, iPhone, so excuse the quality. Anyway, I get a lot of questions about how do I deal with my pole photography, and if I want to do something like a composite, and you want to do a bracket, or you want to do several shots. Well, I tell people that I use a thing called a Manfrotto Magic Arm, which works great and it goes along with my tripod, the Manfrotto 3046. So I just want to show you what I'm dealing with here. So I'm just going to take it, deconstruct it as we talk. Basically, let me put my pole down. Basically what we have is the Manfrotto Magic Arm and there are many, many, um, what do you call it? There's many models that have come over the years. I've got an old one I found at a swap meet for about $25, but I think they're about $150. This is the uh, Manfrotto. Uh, it's actually distributed by Bogan, so that's how old it is. Ben Manfrotto used to be Bogan. And it's the 2930. And what this is, it's an arm that has a, a connector that allows you to move it and it's got two super clamps on it as you can see and so these clip onto what you want everything moves freely so you set up what you want all you have to do is tighten up tighten up this arm and it stays really good so this is great for almost I mean so many types of photography I've used this to support lights cameras remote cameras remote lights and just to actually secure things too which is that's what I'm doing here so basically what I want to do is I want to take this I'm going to loosen it up so it just it flops around and as soon as you tighten it up it stays anywhere you tighten it so the new ones I think have a screw on them but I like this old one so basically I'm going to put my magic arm and my super clamp right here and also by the way these just can come out like let me unscrew this a little bit these can come out so it just has a regular connector as most lights have so you just stick it in here in the super clamp there we go push the button okay so next what I want to do is I want to take my pole and if you haven't seen it I've got my pole photography um, tutorial. Hold on a second. My pole photography tutorial so you can see how to get your pole going on. So what I've got here is my tripod and I'd recommend using one of these. This is just a, probably a 25 pound sandbag and I'm just going to put it on one of the legs of my tripod get a little more stability but this thing is pretty rock solid. That's why I love this tripod. Then another thing you'd want to do is to extend the pole as much as you need before you put it up. Put it up with the camera. So it's going to go up there. And that's where it's going to live. And I'm just going to secure this right to here and I'm going to attach it up high. Okay, so I'm going to put it up about here. So I'm going to tighten this down with the super clamp again. Okay. And what I want to do is get my iPad out and I want to see what my composition is going to be. And I want to level it, get it all nice. And then all I have to do is turn this clamp and it locks in and it's, it's staying there. Now you are going to have some movement due to the uh, length of the pole and the, the, what the pole is made of. You're going to get some movement, so there's no way around that. That happens on anything you get. But this is going to be pretty darn sturdy. And if I needed to just adjust it a little bit for another shot, I would just loosen this up and I could move it slightly and then lock it again. And there it is. So, Rich Bell Photography saying, get yourself a magic arm, Manfrotto magic arm. And uh, you can use it in a lot of great situations to do a lot of great things. So, see you later. Rich Bound, Sacramento, California. Or today, I'm in Pilot Hill, California. 
getting ready to do a photo shoot and a drone shoot. Big, big stuff. I'm real excited. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.